It's not often that you're gonna convince me to spend $400 on one pound of Lego minifigures. But when you're talking about Star Wars, that's just, actually it's probably a little better than the going rate. Not very often I can get Star Wars for four bucks a fig and feel good about it, but I think, I think this is gonna be pretty good. What's up everybody? My name is Aaron, I'm the Brick Scavenger. Oh, I was gonna actually weigh it and see if it was actually a pound, but I forgot my scale. So now we're not gonna weigh it. Uh, but in theory, does that look like a pound? I don't know. Uh, we paid $401 for what was advertised as a Star Wars Troopers lot. So really, really good army building opportunities here, I believe. My goal is to double my money on any given haul. Uh, paying four bucks a fig makes it really, really hard. But people love Star Wars and they pay top money for Star Wars. So here we are. <laughs> if you're interested in any of this stuff that you see here, or you wanna support my YouTube channel, uh, check out the links in the description. Bricklink, eBay, whatnot. We've got uh, tons and tons of figs and fig parts, stuff like that. So here we go. Let's see if we can turn this $400 into $800. That's a really good start right there. How about a P2 Gree? He looks complete. Oh man, love it. That's a really good start right there. So many troopers. I don't want to blast through this too fast, but I mean, you know, you guys got the idea on troopers. 501st and what are these guys? Sith or something like that. There's a nice piece right there. Mix and match. But look at this, Geonosian clones. This is actually the airborne torso and two P2 helmets, but that's good stuff right there. Love finding Geonosian clones. Hard to believe those things were like a battle pack because they're so expensive now. Same with Kashyyyk's. Uh, we've got what appears to be a shadow trooper and some Hoth there. That's not helping our cause. We have got, I don't know, more Sith or whatever, a clone gunner helmet. And from First Order Helmet, that looks like this, the, um, what is it, steep pointed? Pointed mouth, I think is what they call that one. Here's some Kashyyyk. I was gonna say that felt weird on the arm and indeed it's cracked, so that's too bad. That absolutely hurts our cause on trying to double our money. Kashyyyk's go for really good money when they are fully healthy. Uh, we've got a Scout and another Hoth guy. We've got some, uh, what is this, Senate Commando and some more 501st. We've got a pilot here. This is one of the pilots with that white head that I really like. I think that thing is super fun. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Stormtroopers, TIE pilots. We have got, here's enough, here's more Geos. Uh, that's actually the airborne torso right there and the airborne helmet. Nice, maybe we've got the full battle pack. Uh, some 501st and some more Sith there. 501st helmets. It's first order and hot stuff. Uh, there's one of those. I can never, Inferno, is that right? Those red, that red print on that TIE Pilot helmet is super cool. We have got, like I said, just lots of kind of army building type stuff. Pilots, stormtroopers, um, snow troopers and scouts, things like that. Uh, more of the same here. I don't know about those legs. Do those go with that torso? That doesn't feel right, but maybe it is. I don't know. There's so many different, whoa. Uh, somebody really wanted to make their own shock trooper there. So I guess that's trash, but, uh, let's see. We've got, Hey, there's a, uh, Sergeant right there. That's good stuff. There is a white jet pack. Those sell for pretty good money as well. Uh, this guy, not necessarily super valuable, although actually I think he may be like eight bucks, but a lot of it isn't, uh, a lot of it's in the Cape because the white capes are expensive, but that one is gross. So that's going to kill the value on that guy. There's another scout right there. We've got uh, another scout. Is this one better? This one's better. There's another white cape. That one's much better. All right, that's good news. Here is um, another Senate commando. We've got some printed legs on this. These have really dropped in demand and value since uh, there was like a battle pack or something that had printed legs pretty similar to this, but man, these used to be like eight bucks a piece or more because people wanted printed legs clones. Uh, 501st and some uh, Stormtrooper stuff there. There's another TIE pilot. Hopefully there's some like really high-end stuff. That Gree helps a lot. But usually, you know, if you're going to pay four bucks a fig, a couple of really high-end figs goes a long way towards doubling your money. So we're going to hopefully find a couple more. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but again, 
you know, finding army builders are good sellers for sure. Clones, you know, like this clone right here is, oh, that clone has a head in it. Let's see, bad example. Do I have another clone head, a helmet? Nope, now I'm just making a mess of my example. Something like this, you know, easy eight to $10 right there. But on BrickLink, you know, these are like four bucks. The torsos are like four bucks. The heads are two bucks. The legs can be close to a dollar. And so, you know, that's like $11 in parts right there. And these things sell all the time on BrickLink. Uh, it's just remarkable. So, you know, again, those are the kinds of things that add up pretty quick uh, if you get enough of them. But then if you get, you know, tie pilots, that hurts your cause for sure. Not that they're terrible. They just, you know, you're not doubling your money if you get only tie pilots for four bucks. There's more Geo stuff. We got some Sith Troopers there. There's another... Uh, Kashyyyk legs, that's good stuff. Tons of helmets, helmets add up quick. There's a Gree helmet, P1, nice. That guy, I can't remember his name, but again, you know, like there's, oh, look at that. There's a sergeant helmet to go on a sergeant. Clones add up quick. There is another clone head with some stormtrooper type stuff. Holy cow, there's just tons of helmets and stuff in here. So I'm gonna blast through some of these, looking for some gold for you guys, hopefully. But, um, you know, again, this kind of stuff, it adds up for sure. Clone helmets. I can't have enough clone helmets in my BrickLink store, that's for sure. All these types of parts. 501st, Sith stuff. There's a Scout. All right, we're going handfuls. We're going handfuls. Clone stuff. Uh, tie pilots. All sorts of stuff in here. Nothing but, nothing like crazy treasure. But maybe there's still something in there. There's more Scouts. You know, these guys are they're good sellers. There's more of it. Um... Senate Commandos, Stormtroopers, holy cow. All right, what else do we got in here? Find us something really good. Uh, 501st, I like the, uh, what is that? Like blaster burns or something on there? Ooh. All right, wrong helmet, of course. Oh, and wrong head. But we've got a bluish gray, but that is Cody right there. P1 Cody. And he appears to be in very good condition. Nice. Hopefully his helmet's in here. That would be fantastic. Let's put Cody over with Gree, because that would be great. There's a bomb squad. Uh, there's a fully decked out Senate commando. I like these TIE pilots with uh, the hose piece. More 501st stuff, clones. It's gonna take a while to get all this stuff on BrickLink. Oh my word. Snow Troopers. I like this guy. He's fun. Uh, there's another. Oh no, that one's the Horn Company right there. There's an ARF helmet, some Senate Commando stuff. Uh, there's some First Order and some Stormtrooper. Just army building galore. Here's an ARF. Uh, let's see. There's another Printed Legs clone right there. Um, Stormtroopers and all sorts of stuff. Let's see, we've got Stormtroopers, and there's a Shadow Trooper torso, another Shadow Trooper. Uh, we've got white jetpacks. There's the white mark, uh, yellow markings old clone right there. Uh, let's see, have I missed anything, guys? Did I go too fast and missed something that's super valuable? Um, I think we're going to do just fine on this haul because Star Wars is just kind of such an easy sell. But... Um, you know, you certainly aren't like tripling your money, paying four bucks a piece for this. But I think there is profit in here. I really do. Uh, what was that? Was that a Death Trooper? Yeah, let's go. There's a Death Trooper. Nice. Very good. I'm glad to find that guy. Let's see. What else in here? Hey, look at that. That's a good one, too. That pauldron looks really nice. Here is more clone stuff. I'm telling you, the clone stuff adds up so fast. So fast. They're tough sells on some platforms and then other platforms... Um, you know, they're good sellers for sure. So let's see. Uh, there is another Gree helmet. Nice. Uh, let's see. What else? That's just first order stuff. There's another ARF helmet. Uh, there is a P2. Is that the old one? That might be the old one. Uh, that would be nice if it was. So that's a good helmet. Clones. Senate commandos. Just army building after army building. Uh, let's see. Five Is that the old? No, that's not the old one. Uh, let's see, what's, oh, there's a shock trooper helmet right there, a geo helmet. We got some helmet sorting to do. So we've got, hey, there's another uh, death trooper helmet, sweet. Uh, there's another sergeant helmet. Good grief, somebody had an army. 
Somebody used to have an army. Uh, there's a Kashyyyk Scout helmet. Oh, dude, look at that. Those are expensive helmets right there. Holy moly, that's great news. Love that. Love to find that here at the end. A couple more handfuls. Let's see if there's anything else good in here. Like I said, I think we did fine on this haul. Um, not tons and tons of fireworks, but just grinding out uh, profit for you Star Wars fanatics out there. Uh, that one is faker than fake right there. Yikes. I was hoping that might be the Cody one at the end, but no. Fake instead, the exact opposite. So there you go. That's about it. Star Wars Trooper Lot. It's exactly what I was expecting it to be, you know? Uh, tons and tons of helmets, tons and tons of army building torsos, a couple of big, you know, expensive type things that are going to, uh, that are going to add up. And then, you know, we'll go from there. So this is the business, you know, you might argue that, uh, this wasn't exciting, but part of this business is just kind of a grind where you, uh, you provide a service, right? You go out, you find army building stuff, you spend the time to put it back together or get it for sale, and then people are willing to spend money not only for the value of the parts, but for the time that I put in to uh, find, sort, check, and post all this stuff. It's kind of a grind, but it works well, and it uh, turns into profit, and ultimately it turns into more Lego and Lego City and Lego, you know, uh, Lego minifigure collections, stuff like that. So thank you guys for joining me today. I don't think we put a lot on our wall from this haul, but that's probably for the best because that means uh, more to sell, more to get out to you guys. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.